How to install front lower ball joint camber kit on your FK8 Honda Civic Type R. No special tools are required, and if you can do a great job yourself, you can probably handle this. I installed white line part number KCA510, but the same method would apply to any front lower ball joint camber kit such as Jay's Racing, Hard Race, Megan Racing or EVS Tuning. Tools required. 10mm wrench. Phillips head screwdriver. Sockets. 14mm, 17mm, 19mm, T45 Torx. Ratchet. 6 inches ratchet extension. Torque wrench. Breaker bar. Step 1. Race car and remove front wheels. If you need instructions for this, don't go any further. Consult a professional for this installation. Step 2. Remove brake calipers and rotors. Remove the hard brake line from the rear of the caliper with your 10mm wrench. Be careful as this fitting rounds easily. Remove the two 19mm bolts holding the brake caliper on and then take off the brake caliper. Remove the Phillips screw holding the brake rotor on. Take off the brake rotor. Remove the three Phillips screws holding the brake rotor shield in place. Then rotate to expose the front lower ball joint. Step 3. Remove the ball joint. Remove the 17mm bolt and 14mm bolt holding the ball joint housing bracket to the hub. Remove the 45 Torx, then the two 19mm bolts holding the ball joint in. Use your breaker bar to move the lower control arm down, enabling you to slide the ball joint out. Step 4. Install your new camber kit. Slide the new ball joint into the ball joint housing. Then move the lower control arm and housing back into place. Install the two 19mm bolts holding the ball joint to the hub, using the included hardware from your camber kit to achieve your desired camber. Reassembly. Install the 14mm bolt and 17mm bolt holding the ball joint housing to the hub. Torque the 17mm bolt to 90 foot pounds. Torque the 14mm bolt to 44 foot pounds. Install the 45 Torx bolt. Torque to 61 foot pounds. Torque the two 19 mm bolts holding the ball joint to the hub. There is no factory torque specification because according to the service manual, these bolts should never be removed. I torque wood to 90 foot pounds. Reattach the brake rotor shield with the three Phillips screws. Reattach the brake rotor. Reattach the brake caliper. Torque caliper bolts to 103 foot pounds. Torque the hard line to 11 foot pounds. Bleed your brake system. Clean all surfaces with brake parts cleaner. Replace wheels. Lower the car down and get it to an alignment shop to check and adjust alignment specifications. Disclaimer. This part is for off-road use only, and I accept no liability for the accuracy of these instructions. Follow them at your own risk.